Mid Journey is a great generative AI tool that could help you create digital products and make money online. However, the minimum plan is about $10 per month and it ranges all the way to $60 per month if you need additional access to some features. And this can be a lot of money for many people. So today we'll be exploring free alternatives to Mid Journey AI. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Zini and welcome to Zini Studio. So the first free alternative tool we'll be talking about will be Blue Willow. So to access Blue Willow, you come to bluewillow.ai and it opens up to this website. Then you click on join free beta. So once you click on this, if you already have a Discord account, it will take you to the next step. But if you don't have a Discord account, it will be you'll be prompted to create one. So I'll just click on join free beta because I have a Discord account already. It's going to load a page and it's going to say accept invite. And I will just click on accept invite and it's going to open the Discord app and add Blue Willow to other apps that you already have within your, um, the Discord app. So we'll just wait for it to finish loading. So it's done loading and how you would know that it has been added is you could see this icon here that says Blue Willow AI has been successfully added to your Discord. So just to explain a little bit of what you are looking at. So by the right here, you'd have rookies. So rookies are different rooms. You could go in to create your images specifically but i like to use a private server because as you're walking in here a lot of people are walking as well and it can be very distracting what we would do is we're going to add the mid journey bot to our private server so if you don't know how to create a private server you could check out my last video um, on mid journey version 5.1 you'll be able to see how i created a private server so to do that let's go to another rookie room so we are looking for the blue willow bot so what you will do is you come here and click on blue willow bot and it says add to server so you click on add to server it's going to open up this and it's going to ask you to select the server so we already have a server that we created it's going to be animation server and then we click on continue it's going to ask you to authorize then you go ahead and authorize and then you could close this so now that it's done I have the server here so i'll go to that server just to show you so once you come to the server at the message bar click on slash so at the right you could see blue willow and you could see mid journey when you click on blue willow it gives you um two options you could select from and if you click on mid journey bot they has more but we're not talk talking about mid journey today so we'll click on blue willow and click on imagine so it works the same way mid journey um, prompting works so i have a prompt already that i i created i wanted to create um a cute tiny little rabbit wearing a yellow raincoat in the pixel style and see how it's going to work for us so we'll click on enter and we'll just watch it do its thing so in comparison to mid journey it tells you how many percentage it has you know it has completed but blue willow it doesn't so you just have to wait for it to finish up and generate the image for you okay so it has done generating the image so the same way you have um in mid journey you have the upscale one to four and variations one to four so let's just click in and see what it generated this is really cool as you, as you could see it's almost comparable to some of the images you get from mid journey so we could just upscale this first one and then you have to wait and let's zoom in into it but there's something here that's not too right so if you don't like any of this image the same way you just click on the reroll button and it's going to generate another set um for you for instance, if you want to delete a specific um, image here in Mid Journey, you would not, you would typically click on Reaction and use the Cancel button. But here, you could just click on More and Delete Message, and it deletes that for you, just simply. So we we'll just wait for the new set to be created. So we zoom in. This doesn't look bad. This looks really cool. So you keep on iterating till you get what you're looking for so for instance assuming i like the 
second one will just upscale and it's going to give us that image this is really good as you could see the buttons on it yeah even though the hand is a little bit wonky so you might need to play around with it a couple of times just to get something that is very you know good this is just the basic way of using blue willow and it's completely free and you could use the images commercially for whatever you want to do so far you get what you're looking for so it's very simple to use the next tool i'll be talking about will be leonardo.ai so to access leonardo.ai you come to leonardo.ai and it opens up to this um, web page at the moment you need to sign up to join the beta so what you need to do is just to put in your email and say count me in they're allowing people into the platform very fast so i once you sign up you should have access within a day or two if you follow all the prompts this platform as you could see they had in mind of designing game element or it has entirely morphed into um, a generative um, ai image tool which you would see shortly so once you get access you sign into the platform i've already signed into the platform and once you do that it opens up to your home page so i'm going to go through what you're looking at so let's start by the left here at the top here you could see i have 146 so it gives you 150 tokens per day and after 24 hours it resets itself so when you hover around the question mark you could see reset in 20 hours so that is what it does and i find this very cool because i haven't you know exhausted the 150 tokens based off of what i've been testing so far so here you have your home which is what you're looking at you have the featured models within leonardo the ai and you also have some images generated by some people within the community that is currently trending and you could see how stunning some of these images look like then next you have the community feed in the community feed it just tells you different images that are trending here you could see some that are new it will load and tell you the new ones people are currently creating and you could see top so when you click on top it loads the ones that have been ranked higher based off of people's liking each of those images okay so that's for the community feed then the next one is your personal feed so personal feed opens up to the images you are working on so you could have your generations you could have generations of people you are following i'm not following anyone yet and then if there's any one image you like it's going to appear here so that's for the personal feed so the next one is the training and data set so the training and data set is Leonardo the AI gives you the opportunity to train your own model based on of certain pictures so you could use that model to generate multiple images that look similar I haven't created any model because I'm still testing this out so it will be housed here once you have your models trained then you have fine-tuned models so this is the current model that exists within leonardo.ai so they have a lot of models so the ones that i find very interesting is leonardo diffusion so this diffusion um has a more punchy images like you see in mid journey ai so you could see and you could generate very aesthetically pleasing images when you click on view more it opens more images so let's look at into one more model so you could play around depending on what you want to create then um if you say cute animal characters once you click into it it gives you also different features so this this one is really nice if you want to create an image based on of each of this model you just click on generate with this model but we'll get back to this so i'll just close this so these are the different models that they have that you'll be using to create your images so next would be we'll be reviewing each of these user tools here so the first will be the ai image generation so for the ai image generation for you to generate your images you could do it in two ways so the first one would be you click on ai image generation and it opens up to this page it opens up to the page of where you have generated something before and at the very top you could type in your prompt and here you click on the drop down and choose type of model you want to use to generate that image 
the second one would be let me just go back is what i showed you earlier you go to the fine-tuned model if you know the model you want to use you click on it and here you could say generate with this model it opens up again to that same page i just showed you a couple of minutes ago all right so now before we put in our prompts and test the same prompts we used in blue willow let me explain what's happening here so you could choose to create just an image two images three images up to eight images it gives you a bit of control but these are great though because of the different plans let me just quickly show you this is currently free at the moment but it has plans as well if you want to upgrade but i don't think there's a need for that so once you click into your number of tokens it opens up to this page so you could see it gives you 155 generation per day then if you want more you have ten dollars twenty four dollars forty eight dollars per month but from what i've seen so far the free plan is just good enough for you so we we'll click on the back button let's go back to our image generation okay so here you could choose to use prompt magic you could choose to use switch it off or switch it on and then if you want to use a high contrast you could leave it on or you switch it off then in terms of the dimensions majority of the images are directed by 1024 by 1024 so you have to be aware of that so but you could also make changes by sliding this to increase the aspect ratio based off of what you want to do then you could switch on tiling so tiling is if you want to create um tiled images like we have done using me journey in the previous videos then here if you want to use an image so it could mimic a certain image this you could upload your images here and use that image to generate your prompt but it's important to note that this works only with one of their models i think is stable division 1.5 it doesn't work with any other one just 1.5 so you'll be aware of that then you could also use fixed seeds so the seeds is if you want to generate the same image with the same characteristics you could switch on um the seed so the good thing about the platform is that it breaks down exactly what you are doing so you could have a bit of control that's what i like about um leonardo ai when i started trying it out so enough of the explanation let's get into creating some images so i'll just get the same prompt that i used for blue below and we'll use that prompt here and see what it's going to do so we type in the prompt and be aware that for every image you generate it takes your token to generate those images so so this would use as you can see here it says this would use four tokens out of your remaining tokens that's fine so we'll click on generate and what you do is stain so it has generated this so what i noticed for um leonardo.ai is they're still trying to make hands work so what i mean by hands you could see how weird this is so sometimes you generate something that is weird at the background so you need to try a couple of times to get something that looks exactly like what you are you want okay so you could see that rabbit just has one ears eh, which is not what we want so we could just what you could do is you can come here and say generate again and it's going to generate again so we'll just wait we don't like any of these you could just click here and delete all this one seems to look a little bit fair but you could see what has is happening with the hand so this is something you need to pay attention to so sometimes it gets it right and sometimes it doesn't so this as well you could see the weird hands so you need to pay attention to this so assuming we want to use this the way it is just to explain some other features that they have so here once you hover around the picture you could see download image here you could zoom unzoom the image and it will cost you a couple of tokens then here as well you could do a hd zoom upscaler just try to read the the explanation that it gives it gives you very good explanations that's one thing i give to leonardo the ai so here you could have like a creative upscale so let's just click on it so it's going to use about five tokens to upscale this to a more clearer image so we we'll wait for it to 
upscale while he's working let's see if we're going to generate more because the hands obviously look very weird so we'll just click again on generate okay so this looks fair but there's a weird hand here and one of the ears is missing so this is what i'm talking about but i think this is fair in terms of the image so let's just wait for it to finish upscaling this guy and we'll see how clear it looks okay so it's done so let's see wow it looks really clear just kind kindly ignore the weird hands but you could see how to extend even with the buttons the jacket but with the hands okay so once you're satisfied with this you could just click on download image and the good thing about Leonardo the AI is that you could use even with the free plan the images commercially so you don't need to pay extra money to use it commercially which is very good so you could click here to download um, the image and you could have your image to work with then another feature I want to show us is this this is background removal which is really cool like you can easily just remove the background of the image and have it transparent right from the get-go then we also have edit in canvas so this is the next tool i'll be showing you so in their canvas you could so let's click on this from here make some changes make typing some prompts to see if you could make some changes to it so you could reduce the image let's just reduce it a little bit one good thing about this is you could move this box around and type in what you want to see so let's just say here we want to replicate this background we could say blue background and click on generate so it tries to mimic what is here already as you could see if i move this around this is really mind-blowing so if i move this to the side for instance and say we could switch it will tell you so this is the one that it's exactly my background and then yeah let us see, keep it to the edge and say accept then you move the box around it has already created this this is really stunning i i'm sure this is going to give me journey run for their money and another thing I like about Leonardo the AI is that it has its own app. Unlike having to use it in Discord, this is just the app. And you know that, you know, nobody's going to disturb you in what you're creating. So let's create this one more time and say generate this is really cool. So you could do this and fill up depending on what you want to do. But this is just to show you how their canvas works. So you could do a couple of draw max eraser and so on and once you're done you download your image but if you don't want to edit in their canvas you can always take your images out to photopy or photoshop to make the those edits so let's just ed exit the editor so that is how to use the image generation and the ai canvas so let me also show you a good thing if you want to generate image from an image you saw that it's already existing. So let's go to one of the models, so fine-tuned model, and let's go to animated, the cute animal character. And for instance, since I like this and I want to create something like this, so here, once you open it, you could see cute beaver Zootopia, colorful 8K. So I, you can either click on copy prompt or you could do image to image. So once you do image to image, it opens up the AI generation tool and immediately puts in these into um, the prompt section. So remember, if you want to use image to image, you have to change this to a different diffusion model. So let's just say we want to use the so this one that's the one we picked it up from and you could make some changes but let's just run it and see what it gives us this really looks good but the eyes are weird so like i said you need to um work on this properly to get something nice that you are looking for so that is another option so one more thing i'm going to show us is i know that i've done a video where we talked about creating um children's story books and you needed characters so i could also show you a bit of what people have created in leonardo.ai and you could get inspiration from there so when you go to the community feed at the top here you could search for children's storybook
and see what characters people generated and you might get some inspiration from there because one of the things that with ai is about consistent character so you could see here this this looks fairly consistent with different expressions let's zoom in a bit yeah you could see that the character is consistent with the clothes with the shoes with the hair so you could look into this be aware of the hands what i showed you already you could always copy the prompt to make changes to yours and you would have similar results this is really cool so you could close this and you could see other ones that people are trying to generate as well you could see this one is also another set of consistent characters so let's open this so you could see how consistent this is so when you generate the character you can always take it to photopea and cut this out and you get your consistent character for your children's storybook get go into leonardo the ai play around with it let me know what you think about these free tools yeah let's have a conversation about it so play with it and let me know in the comment section don't forget to like subscribe and put on your bell notification to know when i post the next video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one